Hey guys, it's uh, Lance here. Uh, with your recap of the NLL uh, this past weekend. Uh, there's one game going on right now. It is Colorado and Calgary, um, but let's get to the games that have already passed. Some teams had double headers, some teams didn't, and. <sighs> Some teams did better, better than others. The Georgia Swarm played a doubleheader uh, this weekend. First game they lost against Toronto, 14 to nine. In the first quarter, down for nothing. Um, just could not come back from that deficit. Um, just not a very good game by the Swarm, and the Rock came prepared defensively. Yeah, did not expect that. Expected a win in that game, but it didn't happen. It sucks, but you know, what can you do? Um, and then the San Diego Seals. Played the Calgary Roughnecks in the second game on Friday night. Uh, San Diego won fifteen to nine. The Seals they're they're looking pretty well. Uh, they got a rookie in Austin Stotts, who is the brother of the Georgia Swarms, Randy Stotts. And Austin Stotts has scored eighteen goals through six games so far, and that. That's insane for a rookie. Um, the Seals are just clicking right now. They're on a three-game winning streak after the start after starting the season one and two. Um, so yeah, maybe the uh, Swarm need to watch how the Seals are playing and pick up on it because clearly right now the Swarm are not doing good. And that leads me to the first game last night. The Georgia Swarm and the New England Black Wolves. The Swarm actually played a lot better last night than uh, they did Friday night. Uh, New England won 13 to 12. And in that game, the penalties for the Swarm just killed them. Um, I didn't write this down, so I have to look at it. Um, so the swarm had twenty one penalty minutes. Uh, they were they were four for six on the power play. New England had fourteen penalty minutes. They were four for five, and um, the game winner for the Black Wolves was a power play goal with 
251 left. And that, that did the Swarm in. Now, the Swarm, I have to give them credit. They were sh uh, short. <laughs> and, uh, they were short man. Uh, the captain, Jordan McIntosh, he was uh, out with an illness. And um, then... Uh, in the first quarter, Brian Cole gets ejected from the game with a uh, high hit. And so, um, but, yeah, so just not a good overall game defensively. Now, offensively, the Swarm did pretty well. Uh, I mean... Randy Stotts had himself a game. Three goals, four assists. Um, Lyle Thompson had four goals. So, but in the end, just not enough. So the Swarm losing to New England. 13 to 12. Uh, the next game, uh, Buffalo playing Philadelphia, the Wings, uh, came into this game 0 and 4, and Buffalo pulls it out 14 to 10. So the Wings fall to 0 and 5. Um, and if Colorado can win this game today, which it's going on right now, then the Wings will be the only winless team in the NLL. Um, so, uh, yeah, just not a great showing by the Wings, but 14 to 10 is definitely not bad by any means. The Saskatchewan Rush playing the Rochester Nighthawks. Um, Rochester falls to one and three as Saskatchewan wins twelve to seven. Uh, the Rush um, improved to three and one on the season. So. In the last game last night, the San Diego Seals pulled out a heck of a squeaker against Vancouver. And I mean, it was a squeaker. Vancouver had the last shot with like two seconds left, and the guy shoots it, and it literally hits off the goalie and bounces and spins away from the goal. And I couldn't feel any worse for that guy. Because uh, that was a shot that was destined to go in and tie it, and it missed. And uh, that certainly didn't cost Vancouver the game, but he'll look back on it and say, oh, he should have made that. And the fans and the fans will too. The team will say, "Oh, it was this, this, and this that lost it for us." And then, of course, that leads to the game that is going on right now in Colorado at the Loud House, the fourth straight home game for the Mammoth. They have yet to play a road game. Um, the Mammoth leading Calgary seven to nine in this one. Yeah, so the um, the Mammoth looking to get their first win on the young season. They're at zero three right now, and. 
finally, in this video, we'll take a look at the standings. Uh, in the Eastern Division, there's a two-way tie between Toronto and Buffalo for the number one spot. Uh, then, technically, New England and Georgia are tied for... Uh, the uh, second spot because they're both half a game back but if you go by winning percentages New England is ahead of Georgia with a 750 winning percentage at three and one while the swarm are four and two with a 667 winning percentage um, so uh, Rochester is in fourth. They're one and three. They're two and a half games back of Toronto. And of course, the Philadelphia Wings, 0 and 5. They're four games back. Toronto has a goal differential of plus 11. Um, Buffalo has a goal differential of plus 16. New England has a goal differential of plus four. Uh, Georgia has a goal differential of plus three. Uh, Rochester has a goal differential of minus 12. And the Philadelphia Wings have a goal differential of minus 13. In the West Division at three and one are the Saskatchewan Rush. Uh, in second, due to winning percentage, uh, is the San Diego Seals at four and two. In third is Calgary, they're one game back. In fourth is Colorado, they're two and a half back. And in fifth is Vancouver. They're three back. Saskatchewan has a goal differential of plus 12. Um, San Diego has a goal differential of plus six. Calgary has a goal differential of neutral, zero. Uh, Colorado has a goal differential of minus nine. And Vancouver has a goal differential of minus 18. So we'll see where um, things go as Colorado scores to make it uh, 10 to 7. They are currently in the third quarter in that one. Um, and I will make a video recapping that game and the standings uh, probably later tonight. So uh, stay tuned for that video. Um, yeah, and uh, see, see you guys in the next video. Uh, don't forget to like and comment. Uh, don't forget to like and comment down below um, and don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss a video see you in the next video